Today, September 16, 2013, this week's Real Estate Waddle consists of a couple things. We're going to talk about first the current interest rate and what the market is doing, what your local market is doing. Second thing we're going to talk about, well, a couple things to look for in this housing rebound that we handled, especially in the last 12 months and stuff. So with the Dow ending positively today, we're about 118 points difference from yesterday ending at 1594. Currently the interest rate is hovering between four and a quarter, 4.375. So you can see here, according to Zillow.com, so you can see this little bar graph. I know it's a little hard to see. In the last six months, the interest rates have kind of creeped up and stuff. So it's gone up to a four and a half. It's dipped down to about four and a quarter right now. And there's a direct correlation to the housing, especially housing prices and stuff. So in my market, which is consists of Highland Park, Eagle Rock, Montecito Heights, City of Herman, Northeast LA is my area. According to Zillow.com, uh, the housing, so you can, it's kind of hard to see. Housing has appreciated at least 33% in the last 12 months. That's a big jump. So when you start to see jumps like this, it's kind of it's a big reminder of what happened in 2006. So that's why today's video uh, blog will consist of things to look for, especially in the current market. You see here, 30, 30%, 33, 36. These are alarming numbers and stuff, and it had a direct correlation to how easy financing was, how low the interest rates were and stuff. So a couple things we need to look for is according to the Wall Street Journal, um, a couple of things you need to look for. First thing is how, how the housing market became where, where it ended up. First reason is the interest rates. It was easy to buy more with the interest rates being so less and stuff. So, And that kind of accelerated according to their side. That's what accelerated prices. The other thing, the second thing that we need to look for in this housing rebound is the lack of inventory. Yeah, prices have gone up. And they're start, they did go up and they're starting to kind of curb now, but there's still a lack of inventory out there and stuff. And that's still, still a buyer, it's still a seller's market, but it's not at where it once was a couple months ago. With interest rates going up about a full percent from six months ago, it's a big jump in stuff. So last thing is, well, the third thing is the bubble top. Again, I've had countless investors, countless buyers ask me, hey, is this another bubble? It's not. Especially the good thing is the market has kind of curbed. The direct correlation again to the interest rates and stuff. So six months ago, you had multiple buyers out there, just buyers coming out of the woodwork, especially at three and a quarter percent interest rate, you can afford more. You can keep your same payment of twenty five hundred dollars. You were able to buy a property at five twenty five, five fifty, depending upon your down payment and stuff. So so again, the market has dipped, but there is a lack of inventory. The bubble top, we just gotta keep what we've got to kinda see what the market is doing. We just gotta keep an eye on it. And the last thing is how smooth of a handoff? That's the big question. So with less investors buying these properties because they're seeing the market's kind of stagnant in the sense of where it was six months ago. Now we're completely dependent upon how much the buyer can afford. We need to see, again, there's more of a, kind of a small buyer's market. The buyers are more being more picky. You can look for more stuff. You can be more patient. Whereas six months, six, eight months ago it was it's kind of crazy and stuff. There was a mini blip in the market and stuff, so it was a little hectic. And stuff. But now things are back to normal. We do have to keep an eye out. Again, everything we're talking about, you can go on our website, coronatorug.com, or on our actual, follow me, on our actual website, realestatewad.com, or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We just created a new page and stuff. So if you have any questions, give us a call. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.